Now, I will talk about the first part of counseling, which is um, listening. Which is listening. How to listen to people. And um, now, when we listen, very often we have our own agenda. What does that mean? When we're listening, very often we have our own thinking and we're not listen, listening well. And uh, it's something very difficult to learn. Um, the reason why it's difficult to learn is because people generally are not interested to listen to everything about other people. To listen to the inner feelings, their uh, what's going on inside them and their hearts generally people are not motivated are not interested to pay so much attention to people that's one reason one big reason and the second reason is because we it's hard to listen it's hard to be able to get what the other person say and when we listen we want to listen to the content what the person said and also his or her feelings and what's going on inside him we want to feel as much as we can to feel the feeling of the person and uh, for instance let me use some simple illustration someone says now this needs your participation someone says um, there is too much work there is too much work. What is the person expressing? What is the person expressing? What are the feelings of that person? What are some possible feelings? When a person says, He's tired. To yeah, one is tired. So, so when you hear that he has too much to do, then you think of he's tired. And what else? What other possibilities? There are possibilities, and sometimes we have to find out which one is true. Yes? Maybe that person needs help. Uh, yes, maybe he needs help. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Yeah, that's one possibility. There are different possibilities. We really don't know. Yeah. It means also that the person is giving up. Yeah, the person could be given up, giving up. Okay? What else? It could be the person is missing. Lazy, yeah, the person's lazy, possible, Pos possible. And also sometimes he's overwhelmed by the responsibilities, too much responsibilities. So he could be physically tired and emotionally tired. And you want to find out from the person uh, how is he feeling. So when we hear something, we don't just hear, we ask, we find out. Um, now, what I want to do now, the best is to by illustration. The best is by, is by illustration. If someone here has some difficulty of yourself, your relationship, your family, whatever it is, just come out and say about your problem for one minute. Who is willing to do it? Okay. Okay. And then we all listen. We all listen. Now when we listen, we don't have to judge. We don't have to judge and say whether she's right or not. We don't have to judge. The reason is, now we might say, well, if it were me, I would not be so overwhelmed. I would not be so unhappy. Some people might say that. But we don't want to judge. We just want to hear what's happening inside this person. Okay, come over here, please. You just said, uh, in this ministry, any prophet comes here, they always tell her she got a great problem. No. <laughs> she said, she said, she's alive today by the grace of God and because of this ministry. But before she came here, she had too many problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. So, what happened to me? Yeah, we let him back there. Let him back. Okay. And it's thinking that it means one, it will be better. But what I have, people are fighting me there and that. 
Sometimes she is bewitched. Bewitched? Yeah, bewitched. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yeah, witchcraft is for sure. And in the national, they are using charm against her. Okay. Charm against her. Okay, let, let her in. Okay. Let him in. Thank you. Okay. She said in her sleep, sometimes she can feel attacked. Feel attacked. Yeah, okay. demonic attack. Okay. In the sleep. In her sleep. Yes. Okay. Right. Sometimes they can follow me in the morning. Time when I come in seven. Sometimes she can feel that some spirits are following her when she's walking on the way. Okay. Unless the bishop pray for her. Okay. Before she can be alright. So and then to the bishop pray for her and then she'll be alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. That only the time I can be by myself. But when I sit and I keep quietly, my mom be shaking me. Go when I sit and I gel and I shaking my mom. I can feel inside me gel and numb. That how inside me. Sometimes when she hearing the word of God, it can also bring relative peace in her system. Okay. But when she's alone, sometimes she can be shaking. Her mouth can be shaking. They have been praying that only the time they feel inside me. But inside me, he get her out of numb. Inside me, he numb. She said she can feel she's numbed. Inside. Numbed. 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 Yeah, numbed. 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 Inside. Inside. So, that only the parent that had him. Our auntie, Jesus, was saying, I find it in Jesus. I just began to. I was saying, I was saying, for me. God bless you. So she said, I don't, don't sometimes, sometimes when <laughs> she said she is feeling, she feeling the way, yeah, she feeling the way, the way she is expressing herself. Sometimes, unless she's in the things of God. Unless she's in the things of God. When she's in the presence of God, and then she can come to herself. Okay. So that was she was trying to say. Well, I try to do. So long, any prophet can say I'm on that scene. Or if we say our pastor can tell me say I'm on go, be talking with people that only this time. And one man gave testimony here. He gave me, he gave me that, he made that statement before two. If all the prophets that they have been pushing, I can listen to them. If it's my pastor, before God wants for me to flee in that direction. So, I just want God to help me, they revive past. God to give me direction, I start to pray again. All right. Okay. She said God told her through many pastors and prophets that comes here to pray, okay. to preach, that she should be going out. To preach to the people, to talk to people. This should, should be going. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go okay. Now, now, um, yeah. okay. Now, you can hold the mic. Now, this is a training of listening. Yeah. Okay. Listening. Let me ask you, what did you hear? And also, the content what she said and the feeling behind what she said. Now, we might not know everything, but we can ask. Now, you can either ask her a question. Or you can say her feeling, and then we can respond respond to her. So anyone, this is an exercise. For exercise. You. Exercise. Does anyone? That's why you need to listen. You pay attention. What have you noticed about what she said? And then what? How would it affect her? How did that for me? No, I'm not, I'm not asking. <laughs> how did it affect her? The thing you hear, how do you react to it? If you were oh, her, yeah. if you were her, her shoes. how would you feel? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Okay. Now you maybe you're shy, but that's okay. That's okay. Now when I heard this, um, it must make you feel fear, right? Do you fear? I'm scared. You feel? So now I can get. So now it did. They coming to me. I can fear. That fear can come in me. Say something she can be afraid. Can you speak loudly now you don't have the mic? 
She says sometimes she can be afraid. She said that when you look at sick, she wants to undergo deliverance. Uh, deliverance is, is one evangelism. Someone wants to pray for her. So she's waiting she for can, people to... When people want to pray for her, she can be afraid. Can be afraid? Yes. Now, let me ask you this. Now, the reason why we want to listen and respond is because we want to feel the feelings of this person and understand the situation. Yes. Okay. Now, when you were in your dreams, sleeping, and then you felt the Holy Spirit, I mean the evil spirit attacking you, how did you feel? You understand so it? So now, when it appeared to me, all my body can be burning, get up, pepper and waste on me. How do you feel? You say all oh, our body can be burning. Oily. Oily. Pepperish. Oh. Pain. All over our body. Oil. Paperish, paperish. Paperish. Yeah, paperish. Okay, how about in your heart? How do you feel when you will feel fear? In my heart, the food, so coming from in the food, what can I eat? They say some of the heart can be born, sometimes heart can be born as a result of the food she ate. You can eat in the gym and the physical. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, long time can eat the food she eat. I'm, ask, food. I'm asking you, did you heart, feel fear in the dream? When you were attacked by the evil spirit, do you fear? I have, I have, I have feeling, I did pray. I take my body with children and I will pray. That fear them me when I look. When you are attacked by, by spirits, mm -hmm. by witchcraft, mm -hmm. your, your sleep, mm -hmm. you can be afraid. I have been, yeah, I have, that fear gave me when I look behind and I that is, you can be afraid. My, all my is winning. yes or no. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yes. <laughs> now, okay, now in this, for her, now, and this is an analysis. Yeah, analysis. We realize that she has problem describing her feeling. Yes. She would talk about what happens or explain it, but that there is fear. Now, sometimes people are not in touch with their feelings, so we will listen, we, we listen to that. And also, I heard that you were afraid when evangelists pray for you. So, what, what were you afraid of? No, I'm not saying evangelists. No. I said, here. Yeah. So now, when I want to be praying. Then I laugh, then I talk. I said, when I was praying, when I fear gave me, when I look behind, I see different things. So, all my face started burning, all my hands. Then I get out of the, the, the oil on the leg. Okay. She says, sometimes. When prayer is going on. When prayer is going on. Yes. She can feel that when she's fear. praying also. When she's praying. Then you say when you are praying. When I was praying, that fear gave me. When I look behind, I saw the spirit. And you say she can see the spirit. When prayer is going on, she can turn behind. Turn behind. And look and see the spirit. See the spirit. Yes. When you see the spirit, do you fear? Do you fear? Yeah, that fear can just get me, so now I look. She said, yeah, she can be afraid. Okay, so that must be difficult for you, right? Like in the dreams? Mm -hmm. it, it, can, it can give you concern, huh? Mm -hmm. so in yes. the dreams? I can feel the pain. She said, that they can do it to me again. She said, both physically and spiritually, she can be worried. They can worry Okay, her. then you worry physically. And physically spiritual. and spiritually, yes. because... The Africans and physically, they can chunk it on me. That's African sign. That is, African sign means witchcraft spells. spells. Okay. So you are afraid because of all these attacks. It makes you worry. feel worried and unhappy. So let me ask you this. So every day, do you have much fear every day? They can do it every day, but so now what they want to do more. Sometimes it can go successfully up to three months. So nothing for three months. Yes. After and then, months. but when it comes, then you, do you fear? I am afraid of her. So yes. Okay. Yeah. And then, are you afraid of meetings? Because in the meetings, it will manifest itself, the evil spirit, right? Yeah. So you probably don't feel very good in meetings, right? You might feel, not feel very good. Yes. But you want the demons driven out, right? Okay. Now, what I'm doing now, I'm naming her feelings. Yes. I'm seeing her feelings. For instance, let me use an example. The wife's here, if you are hurt by someone, someone says something unpleasant to you, and you talk to your husband, and then the husband says, don't see him, don't see him, don't talk to him. And then you might feel, nobody understand me. So the first thing we want to do is to understand, oh, this person mistreated you, must make you feel unhappy. 
And then the wife generally would feel, oh, he understands me, right? So this is the first reason why we want to listen. And then we want to understand. In her case, what I heard so far, and then you can tell me if it, I'm not correct, that she has attacked from evil spirit in her sleep, yeah. and it caused her to fear. And also when she went to meetings, she can see evil spirit sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. And then you would have manifestation. So you would be afraid when you saw the evil spirit, right? Yeah, yes, of course. And also, do you feel kind of strange about yourself? How come I always have this evil spirit? The problem is never solved. Do you feel that way? I can feel that way. Yeah, you can feel that way, okay? Now, the first step is not to solve a problem because you try to solve the problem and teach her. Some people are ready. Some people hunger for help. Yeah. Then you need teaching. Some people hunger for help. Oh, I have evil spirit attacking me all the time. And can you help me? Then we can teach, but we still can say this. Oh, I know it must be difficult for you now. Say this with me. I know it must be difficult for you. I know it must be difficult for you. Then you attack by this evil spirit. And give you fear. And gives you fear. And you feel insecure. I feel insecure. So we try to name this feeling and let the person know I care about the person, I know the feeling. And then we can start to answer the questions. Now for some people, now for her, when she talk, I sense, I sense. Yeah. She really want some help, yeah. some direction, right? Yes. Is it true that you want some help so that you can get rid of the evil spirit? Is that true? Mm -hmm. help. Okay, I now, help. yes, you like help, right? I know. Okay, now, but at this point I stop here. Mm. The reason is, I want to practice. I'm not, I'm gonna stop here yeah, with yeah. her. Yeah. I want to practice in threes. Now in each of the groups of three, in each of the groups of three, that it cannot be all male or, or all female. female. So some male and some female in a groups of three. And in a group, you divide up, one person share about his or her condition, his need, something unhappy, some burdens, some hurts. And the other person, one person listen and respond. Listen and respond. And the third piece, person, just observe. Now what do you observe? Is he hearing what the person said? Is he responding? Because some people hear what he said and then he will say, you just pray and then uh, the demons will go away. No problem, no problem. You, you feel too much. The person is just teaching and accusing. So the third person will listen. Did the person hear? Hear what the person said and respond to the feelings. This is very, very important. Now many people say, I don't need to learn that. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But when it comes to real situation, it's very easy for us just to teach or to say, well, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it, I just pray. And really did not open up, help the person to open up, let the person feel accepted and open up and find out the problem, where it is and try to, in the host counseling, we want to lead the person to understand the problem and to find solutions. And then whether the person can, can solve the problem or not. So we, we need to f discover the situation and discover what some ways to try to find some ways. But we don't try to solve that the first time. So the first time, we just listen and respond to the feeling and respond to the person. What is really happening? tell what is really happening. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? So in the next 10 minutes or so, so the person doesn't share for a long time. Just share, and the person respond by this. Oh, now, because just now we have to have interpretation. But without interpretation, I would say, oh, that must make you feel fear. How did you feel in a dream? I will respond right away. I will respond right away. This is very, very important. Because I, have, I, I can tell you, we have trained many people, but many people refuse to learn counseling. They keep teaching. They think teaching is more direct. And, but actually, people don't listen. If they're willing to change, they already have changed. There must be some reason they don't change, okay? So now, please, divide into groups of three. And, and then after, you know, so you just do it for, 10 minutes and after the 10 minutes, 
you tell me uh, briefly what happened, was the person listening, was the person responding. Now response, good response are something like this. I know it must be difficult for you. I know it will make you feel unhappy. Or do you feel unhappy? Or how do you feel? Now these are different. When we sense he, she has fear, I, I, I think she was have fear. So I would say, so did you have fear? So I assume. And I, in that case, in this case, it's true. So did you have fear? And if I don't know, I would say, how did you feel in the dream? So we can say what we think, or we can ask them, uh, what do you feel inside?